Why do console games use temporal reconstruction to something less than 4K, then use basic scaling for the rest? Uh, why not have it all done by the smarter algorithm? Uh, that's a really interesting question, and I've got a bit of a theory on this. Well, certainly from my personal experience testing on like uh, portable handhelds, is that, um, well, there's, there's kind of like two types of artifacts to this, especially when you're dealing with something like FSR2, where um, basically it's a balance of FSR2 artifacts and just kind of like upscale blur. I actually found in some scenarios it's better to, you know, instead of targeting a 1080p output, target a 900p output with FSR2 for a 1080p screen on, on one of these handhelds, simply because, well, the, the FSR2 artifacts can become more distracting than the upscale blur going from 900 to 1080p. But there's other um, scenarios where you might want to do that because the upscale from 900 to 1080 will be essentially free. Right. Whereas the higher the output resolution is with FSR2 and DLSS, all of these upscalers, the bigger the hit to GPU resources. Uh, so that's kind of why I think it's done. I, I, I think, I don't know if you've got anything you want to add to that, Alex. I think that's exactly why it's done. It's why you don't see a uh, dead space uh, remake on consoles uh, in its 60 FPS mode doing 4K 60 FSR2. It does 1440p FSR2. Probably because right. the frame time cost is just higher for a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's all, yeah, it's also the case that, as I've noticed, that um, uh, it used to be the case with like TAAU that it would just be, you know, the difference between output resolutions would just be a certain degree of blur. But, you know, the lower you go down the resolution chain with FSR2, the more distracting and obtrusive some of the artifacting can be. And it's it's not especially attractive. And having the option to basically balance between blur and, and artifacts actually has some value. Mm-hmm. Uh, any thoughts on this one, John? Uh, not really necessarily. I mean, <laughs> I just, man, I don't, I, I don't love where we're at with image quality these days. I feel like all this like temporal reconstruction stuff. I, it feels like it's being abused a little bit too much on the console side, uh, on the console side specifically. Like it feels like, uh, in a way, when we had things like checkerboard rendering, things were slightly better because there you kind of had to hit like a minimum type of pixel count to use it effectively. Where here it feels like they're just like, well, we just put the knob down a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And it just goes too far. And I think the uh, the visual artifacts are sometimes not worth it. So More 60 yeah. FPS, I would say. I'd say the 30 For FPS s- modes in most games are pretty all right. Are f- fine yeah, yeah. Fine. but for 60 fps 60 fps low res fsr2 especially is like a it's not that good yeah it's, it's been <laughs> getting a bit gnarly in some instances mm-hmm. yeah. for sure 